Apollo is the best tool you can use to scrape leads for your cold email campaigns. I've used Apollo to scrape millions of leads and book hundreds of sales calls for my agency and for my clients. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through exactly how you can use it to scrape thousands of leads and book hundreds of sales calls for your the company with cold email. All right, so diving into the platform, first of all, there are a few different tabs into Apollo. So if you go here, we've got the search section, data enrichment, sequences, emails, calls, and so on, right? So if you want to scrape leads, you want to go to the search tab right here. And then we have a couple of sections here, which are the people section and the company section. Now, of course, within companies, you're only going to uh, find companies, actual businesses. Why with people? This is where you can actually get the leads and get the contacts at those companies. All right. So in the companies section here, the most relevant filters are company, account location, employee account, industry and keywords, technologies, revenue, and job postings, right? All of the other filters are typically not useful or not accurate. Actually, revenue is also not accurate. So if you want to basically filter by the size of the company, just do with the employee uh, account filter and not use the revenue filter because this is inaccurate most of the time. So the first filter that I mentioned is the company, right? So here, basically, you can search for a specific company right here. Or if you have a list of companies, you can put them here in include list of companies. You want to type the domains. So for example, let's say that we wanted to search for Google and Netflix.com. We can do that right here. And also, let's say that here we want to exclude a company. So do that. Put the uh, domain of the company right here. And then save and search is going to exclude that company. That being said, this is the second filter, the second most relevant filter which is the account location, right? This is simply the headquarters location of the company, pretty straightforward. Uh, employee account as well. We've got the predefined ranges and then the custom range as well. If you want to, let's say, um, search for, you know, companies between five and 50 employees, you can do that here. And now the next one is industry and keywords. This is super useful. For example, here, let's say that we want to search for marketing agencies, uh, in let's say California. So we can type here marketing uh, and advertising. And then let's say they want to uh, go a step further and want to search for paid ads agencies only. Actually, let's do Facebook ads agency only. And so let's do here and you go to company keywords. You can type Facebook ads, FB ads, and then it's going to search for those companies only, right? Now we've got 4,000 companies. Let's say they want to search for companies in California only. We can do that right here, California, US, and we can find 140 companies that match the relevant filters that we put here. Now, the technologies filter is also very useful if you want to do a uh, technology-based, you know, kind of relevant campaign. And so here, basically, you can search for all the technologies that we have here. So let's say we want to search for these marketing agencies that are using Shopify. Uh, somehow maybe they're using Shopify for the clients or for their own website as well. We can find just one company right here. Uh, but if you search for, for example, e-commerce brands, Shopify and Klaviyo as well are two very valid uh, technologies to filter for. Also, let's do a different search right here. And let's say that we want to search for e-commerce brands in, again, California with five to 50 employees they are using Shopify and Klaviyo, um, and that's it. So we go here to, first of all, employees 5 to 50 in the custom range right here. We type that in right here. And then industry and keywords, you can also uh, filter a step further with industry and keywords. But just for the sake of this example, I'm just going to pick all of the econ brands that are using Shopify and Klaviyo. So if you want to uh, search for companies that are using both two technologies, so for example, Shopify and Klaviyo and not just one of these, you want to go to show advanced here and want to paste or type technologies here in include all, right? So you're going to paste uh, or we're going to type Shopify and Klaviyo right here. And it's going to find all the companies that are using both of these technologies. So as you can see, we've got 24 thousand companies. Now let's say that we want those e-commerce brands to be in California. We can type that right here. And now let's say we want to go a step further because we have 3,200 leads. Let's say that we want, uh, let's say cosmetics brands in California. 
So I want to type that in here, cosmetics in the industry, and it's going to find 52 companies in California. The next filter you'll find super useful is the job postings filter right here. So this essentially allows you to run very targeted, very intent based campaigns that work super well. So let's say that you have a marketing offer, for example, and you target IT companies in the US. Now, what you could do is you could run a very specific and very uh, intent based campaign targeting IT companies in the US that are hiring for specific roles, specific marketing roles that you could replace with your offer. So let's do that right here. I just put United States as the company location and here we want to type information technology and services as the industry. And then here, what you want to do is you want to go to job postings and type marketing manager, for example, and then marketing, let's say coordinator. Uh, and then we could also do marketing specialist. Let's see right here. And then you essentially find 926 companies that are hiring for a marketing manager or a marketing coordinator or a marketing specialist, right? So this is a very useful filter. And you should 100% use it for very target campaigns. Now going over the people section in Apollo, you will find a few more filters. They are the job titles filter and the email status filter, right? So let's start with the email status. You want to select the first four ones. Otherwise, when you are scraping leads from Apollo, it's also going to scrape the leads where basically Apollo couldn't find an email for. So these are obviously like useless. And so you don't want to waste your credits for leads without an email, right? And then the job titles section, this is very useful. Obviously, this is pretty straightforward. If you want, let's say, to reach out to uh, recruitment managers, using an example before we were reaching out to, you know, IT companies in the US that are hiring for marketing managers, marketing coordinators, and marketing specialists. Now, let's say that we want to reach out to the recruitment uh, managers and the recruitment director. Now, going a step further, if you want to exclude certain job titles or certain keywords from those job titles, you can do that right here. In the is not any of section, you want to enable this and you want to type the keywords that you want to exclude from the job titles. So let's say that you want to, you want to reach out to recruitment managers, recruitment directors, but you don't want the operations uh, keyword to be in their job title. So as you can see here, we've done this and the search these little results went down from 595 to 577. So as you can see, some of these people add operations as the or one of the keywords in the job title. Now to complete this search, let's say that we want to reach out to companies that have between 11 and let's say 100 employees. You can do that right here in the employees section. And one more thing that I forgot to mention is that when you go to the people section right here, it's also going to appear a contact location uh, filter right here. So obviously account HQ location uh, was the company's location, which we selected in the company's tab before. And then contact location, let's say that again, we want to reach out to only contacts that are in the, are based in the US. Let's say, you know, some of these people are based, for example, in India or for example, another one in India. So let's say we want to reach out to only uh, US based prospects. Now this way, both the company and the person are going to have to be based in the US by doing this. So now let's say that we want to scrape this search. What you want to do is go here to select all people and you want to go to export as a CSV and then save contacts. Now once you've scraped the list from Apollo, Apollo is going to say that 100% of their leads are accurate and are uh, valid emails, but that's not the case, right? So you want to use another uh, tool, which is a verification tool. So for example, you want to go to mailverifier.com, which is the uh, verification tool that I recommend. You want to go to email verification, then what you want to drag and drop the lead list right here. And you want to click on start verifier. In this case, Apollo could only find nine email addresses out of the 10 leads that we downloaded. And so we're going to start to verify those nine email addresses right here. In a few minutes, Mail Verifier will have finished verifying your leads. And so then what you want to do is you want to go to Download Reports and then click on Good Emails Only. In this case, we're just going to work with the good emails. Basically, there are a few other types of emails. So for example, risky emails. These are cultural emails. So essentially, you don't know whether those email addresses are valid or not. The only way to verify those email addresses is to use 
a casual notification tool, which is going to be scrub.io. That's why I recommend. However, that's more expensive. So unless you necessarily need a larger lead list and you know, the easiest way to do so is to download and verify the risky emails. But unless you want to do that, then I would just go with the good emails only. And then bad emails, these are invalid email uh, addresses. Those are invalid mailboxes, don't exist. And so if you email those addresses, then that's going to result in a bounce. So by all means, you want to avoid these emails. Okay, so the lead list is ready to be imported on your selling software. And you can actually launch a cold email campaign to those leads. But just to show you what the lead list looks like after we've downloaded it from Verifier, I just imported the lead list on a Google Sheet right here. And you can see here all the different columns, the first name, title, company name, company name for emails, which is a normalized company name, email address. These are columns that Verifier added. Just as so you know that these are you know good emails and those are right emails that you can send a campaign to those leads. And then another, you know, other relevant columns, employee account, industry keywords, per personal LinkedIn URL, website, company LinkedIn URL, and then the location of the company and of the contact. We've also got the SEO description. So if you want, you can also pick the SEO description and write a personalized line using AI uh, based on their SEO description. We've got the technologies, all the technologies that they are using. And then we've got all the details as far as you know, email open, email bounce. These are columns that Apollo added, but then they're not really relevant if you're not using Apollo to send cold emails. That's exactly how we can scrape thousands of leads from Apollo. But scraping leads is only the only thing that you need to run a successful cold email campaigns, the booking meetings, and sign your clients. So there are hundreds of other things that you need to do that you obviously couldn't cover in this video. And you could do this all yourself, but chances are it's going to take you a lot of time and trial and error to make it work. So if you run a B2B company, we can do this all for you and book you 30 meetings with your clients in the next nine days on a pay per show basis. If that sounds interesting, click the first link in the description below and book a call with me. That being said, I appreciate you watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.